It was on day three of Pope Benedict's visit at Mass in London's Catholic Cathedral that he addressed the sexual abuse of children in some of his most direct comments yet. Above all, I express my deep sorrow to the innocent victims of these inspicable crimes. After the service in private, the Pope met with five British victims of abuse. A Vatican statement said he told them the Church is doing all in its power to bring to justice clergy accused of these egregious crimes. But critics simply don't believe it. The Pope has made many apologies, but he always apologizes for other people and their failings, never for his own. He knew about child sex abuse for years and years and years, and in 99% of cases, he failed to bring the perpetrators to justice. And among the roughly 10,000 protesters who marched through central London were also dissenting Catholics who believe the Pope is stubbornly out of touch with modern society. Still, as this visit draws to an end, there have been fewer protesters than pilgrims. Tonight, London's Hyde Park filled with the faithful who gathered for a prayer vigil and spiritual guidance from the man they believe is God's representative on earth. On Friday, the police arrested six men under the Terrorism Act, suspected of a plot to harm the Pope. Five of them were of North African origin, and they worked as street cleaners, so could have passed inconspicuously in the crowds that had come out to see the Pope. However, the, the police haven't charged them yet, and they say they haven't turned up anything significant in their investigation either. Jeff? Art Elizabeth Palmer in London. Liz, thank you.